He's the author of this book, as well as a whole range of other books, and I'm really excited to have him. Al, welcome. Hello, thanks for having me. So this book is like really famous, and it's a fantastic book. Um, but this is not the only book you've written, and it's not your first book. Do you want to give us a bit of a history of like the, you know, how you got into, you know, writing this and, and the books that you perhaps wrote before this? Because it's quite a cool story. Yeah. So about, I think around 2008 or 2009, um, my girlfriend at the time was a nanny for this 10 year old who wanted to learn how to code. And I thought, yeah, sure. Okay. I can, I can find some tutorials online, but didn't really find anything that just sort of presented the source code to you know, some little video games or things like that. That's yeah. sort of how I learned how to program was finding these, you know, like listings in the basic programming language of a guess the number game and that sort of thing. And a lot of things seem to either be just for computer science majors yeah. or advanced experienced professionals, or they're more just sort of like, here's how computers work and here's a monitor and here's a keyboard and and that sort of low level <laughs> things uh, yeah. that y you don't really, that's... Uh, not too helpful. And so I thought, well, I don't know, I guess I could start writing up a tutorial. And that small tutorial kept growing and growing in size. And so I put it on a website and it started getting some traction. And uh, yeah. I decided to go the self-publishing route. And it's it's sort of amazing that once it was an item that you could buy off of Amazon, people started calling me an author, which I didn't really think of myself as at the time. I was just yet another software engineer. I had started writing up these materials and uh, people like that book. Uh, that was Invent Your Own Computer Games with Python. And so I wrote a second book that became Making Games with Python and Pygame. I wrote a third book, uh, which later became Cracking Codes with Python. And so at this point, this was about 2014 or 2013. I approached No Starch Press with an idea about creating Automate the Boring Stuff with Python. And I had noticed that there's a lot of people out there who don't necessarily want to become software engineers but yeah. they have an office job, they're dealing with Microsoft Excel all day. Uh, they have a lot of just mindless clicking and typing that they have to do. And, and they would tell me these stories. And I thought like, well, you know, if you knew a little bit about programming, you could then write your own script to automate this because it would be something very, very personal for their own workflow or, or how their organization is set up. So there's no commercial software to do this. And at the same time, it's such a small task. You don't want to hire a consultant to write this software for you. And it just became... Uh, oh, sorry to interrupt you. You've got a really cool story. You've got to tell us that story. Uh, I heard it on another podcast where someone used your book, I think it was, and then they had a very long lunch. Can you explain that? Oh, yes. So this is the story I, I have at the uh, in the intro of Automate. This was my roommate in college who was telling me this story about how he worked at this one retailer. About every year or every quarter, maybe, they would get just a huge printout, just a stack of paper about all the prices. I think it was either for their competitors or, or something. Somehow they had gotten this information. And one by one, they would have to look up a price on this big stack of paper, type it into their store database, and then they would just want to make sure that their store's price was at or under the price of their competitors. And this would take yeah. a team of three people like a couple days to do just to go through the entire thing. And so my roommate who was working there at the time saw them just, you know, in this conference room, just going through all this paper. And he said, well, you know, if you have the original data from that printout, I could write a script that could then just automatically do the database lookups uh, itself. And, you know, it took him about a couple hours to write this program. And then when he ran the program, it took about two seconds to, to run. And all of all of his friends uh, or, or all of his coworkers just said like, wow, you've just saved us two hours or two days of work. And so uh, I don't think they actually told their manager that they had finished early. They just <laughs> sort of took a very uh, extra long lunch at the end of that. 